can you parry that? The one question that probably every single Tears of the Kingdom player has asked themselves. So I've made a series called Can You Parry That? And you guys have seen them in my YouTube shorts. So I've compiled all 10 of the current Can You Parry That? episodes into this one video because it's hard scrolling through the shorts feed sometimes trying to find them all. So here you go. Also, there may be some time sensitive events that happen in these videos, like if I say subscribe or something like that, What you should do, you should subscribe. So here's all 10 Can You Parry That episodes so far. Welcome to Can You Parry That in Tears of the Kingdom, where we see what attacks Link can parry in Tears of the Kingdom because I have an addiction to playing the game with only a shield if only someone made a video on that. The rules are simple. If you see the blue sparks, that's a parry. Let's go. Choo Choo Charge Attack. Not on the electric lads, that's for sure. Give those Stanky Breath Attack. Oh, that's hilarious. Timing is a bit odd though. Fire Gleok Giant Fireball of Death and Destruction. It's so difficult that I've only done it once, but it is 100% possible. <laughs> Try it on flat terrain, that works better. Yiga Foot Soldier Drop Attack. Either I'm bad or you can't. I'm leaning more towards the second option. Also subscribe and comment what attacks I should do next. 100k subscribers by the end of the summer and I play every Zelda game on stream. Yiga Blade Master Earthquake Technique. Unless you have shields for feet, it's impossible. Solid Air. Surprisingly, yes. Shoutouts to Air. A Horse Kick from Behind. This has become my new favorite activity. Or how about a Kuko? Dale is just way too powerful, sadly. Frost Gliok Icicle Rain. The only thing Link gets here is a concussion. Ever means. Would you look at that? Gloom Hand Grab. It doesn't do damage, so parry is a no. Gliok Laser Beam. A good tactic until you realize that it's a beam attack. Be sure to subscribe and let me know what I should try next in the comments. Non-playable character attacks. If you whack them enough, it's funny. Mukta Rocks Beam Attack. Haha <laughs> Splatoon Moment. A Stone Talus Punch. The first hit, but not the second. That rocks, though. And an arrow. Yup. The exploding rocks from Rock Ock to Rocks. Dear Lord, what a tongue twister that was. A Bacoblin being thrown at you. Yes, quite funny, haha. -ha. An arrow Kuda. It even beats them up, too. A falling rock from the sky. I got this once and never again. Maybe I really am a god gamer. Be sure to subscribe and comment what I should parry next. Thank you all so much for 100,000 subscribers. Face reveal soon. Anyways, you know what when you fight them. I am the indestructible bowling pin. Lionel Fireballs. Fun fact, every Lionel melee attack can be parried. Parry a cannon. This is quite the fun rhythm game. And anxiety inducer. Frederick's lasers. They are just too powerful. My shield is gone. Frederick truly is supreme. Hinox slam. No, sadly. A Hinox head slam. Yet again, no. As well as the tree throw. But if you time your parry correctly, you will take no damage. So that's cool, I guess. Flux construct smash. No. But when the flux hits the whip, you can cancel out damage with a parry. The cube smash can cancel out damage. This is the same for the roll. Now for the flying blocks. It seems that the same rules still apply. But what about a Molduga? The charge attack. Nope. The spin attack. Also nope. Big day for parry haters. It's time for Can You Parry That Episode 5. The rules are simple. Blue sparks means it's a parry. Subscribe and let me know what to parry next and I'm going insane. A rocket arrow. You'll need lightning fast yeah, reaction parry. Speaking of. Yeah, I know that ain't happening. Ooh. Marvel goalless rock ball things. The main goal is to blow up. We don't give no sand beam. <laughs> A time bomb. It doesn't do damage to you, so you are chilling with no parry. A frog's belly flop. No, but there is still that no damage rule. Or even the projectiles Ganon shoots at you, which you can. Do you miss Daruk's protection in Tears of the Kingdom? Because here's how to replicate it. Now, I know you might be thinking about using Sidon's ability to accomplish this task, but the bubble doesn't give you a guaranteed parry, so that's parry. Parry? Can you parry that episode six? Blue sparks mean parry. An exploding barrel? Blam! A spike ball, which is not the Kirby spike ball. If you know, you know. An animal running towards you. <laughs> a funny lad. Bees. Not the bees. A crucible knight. Would you look at that? Lionel explosion attack. Yup. Before I do the last one, you lads have commented suggestions that I have already done in previous videos, so be sure to watch those as well. Literal air. What did you expect? I am reaching insanity at an extreme rate, and it is all because of this. In Tears of the Kingdom. Now, what could even drive me insane? Well, let's just say there is only two options. One, the fact that the Hyrule economy is crumbling. Or two, my undesirable desire to parry everything in sight. You know what? I'll just parry my insanity. Can you parry that episode seven? A stone-like rock. That rocks. An off the rock spitting out a weapon. Crazy. The little frog slash. Ah! What happened? You are dead, <gasps> Charlie. You parried yourself too hard. You must now parry death itself. How do you expect me to do that? You have to, Charlie. It will be funny. All right, bet. Here's how to replicate Nifa's grace in Tears of the Kingdom. I miss getting a free revive every once in a while, and very just start cutting it, so what do you do? Well, it involves using the game mechanic known as as pe Can you bury that episode 8? A boss yeah. become with rock! Oh wow, shout out to Dwayne! Fire like fireballs! Oh, I do not like like that! A Korok! 
I'm sorry, little one. A red jump from behind in Mario Kart? I never knew this was possible! The subscribe button! Oh. Every subscription I get in this video, I will parry a Lionel one time! A machine of death! This is actually pretty funny! This video! Oh. <laughs> Can you parry that episode 9? Blue sparks mean parry! Lizolfo spit! Parry lovers are salivating right now! A bear attack! This was surprisingly tricky! A wind rope attack! Just be sure you're shot proof before attempting! A warlock punch! That sure is crazy. The bloody demon dragon blue balls it took so long to get here. This took an hour. A wolf, yup. A captain cause grip drop attack. Kerblamo. The subscribe button. What are you look at that? An arrow from a skeleton. Does this even count? And to bring it all around, a boomerang so with a bomb. The main goal is to blow up. Can you bury that merch on c.shop.com? Go, 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 go. You know what's going down. Can you bury that episode 10? Sludge from Zora's domain. It's way too hard to line up on the surface, and the falling sludge from Lucky Rock doesn't do damage. Whoopsie. Final arrow rain. Yup, when the third arrow gets you out, you know. <laughs> Muck the Rock wave attack. Oh. Oh, once you got little one shields. Muck the Rock's charge attack. I didn't even know Muck the Rock had a charge attack. Lightning like like. Be sure to be shocked before attempting or use a wooden shield. Golgara's spike attacks. Sadly, no. I'm just oh. as disappointed as you are. <laughs> Falling ruins. You can do a falling skyrock, but this is a no. Odd. A guardian laser beam. Crazy. A tree stasis launch. <laughs> also, put a nifty compilation of all parry videos thus far into a quick video, so if you want to watch them all without scrolling through all my shorts, here you go. Yeah!